we analyze billions of environmental variables to understand how our planet's climate will behave in the future? How can we engineer custom proteins for use in next generation medical treatments? How might we predict financial bubbles before they happen? The problems we'll need to solve in the 21st century are some of the most difficult and complex we've ever faced. And solving them will require novel and increasingly sophisticated techniques. The University of Texas at Austin is meeting those challenges head on by creating the nation's first undergraduate program in computational engineering UT is investing in the new discipline of the 21st century and in the students who will be the critical players in every engineering, scientific, medical, and financial industry. Computational engineering is really the discipline of applying models and simulations or algorithms to uh, investigating the behavior of complex systems. Things like transportation is very complex. Weather is very complex. Human health are very complex. Any of those things that you can kind of imagine as having a lot of moving parts, so to speak, a lot of different sources of information, those are excellent examples of places where a computational engineering mindset um, can enable you to take the complexities of the real world and to develop abstractions of them that can be analyzed in a controlled way in a computer. We use a lot of calculus and differential equations to come up with mathematical models and then use computer programs and software to actually create simulations and make predictions. And so as a computational engineer, the tools that you're going to be using are the tools from uh, computer science and um, statistics and analytical techniques that allow you to be able to determine what could happen. It allows you to play what if. And so you're going to be using methods and techniques of computation to solve the problems that we need solved in the world. I'm an undergraduate researcher for the Center for Computational Oncology. So in my case, we try to create mathematical models to try to predict cancer growth in patients. And so the end goal is to be able to have imaging where depending on the individual patient, there will be a mathematical model that can predict what will happen if the doctors give a particular treatment to that patient. For every engine that's out flying in the world, we collect data and we build models that basically say, based on these conditions, how, how hard was the throttle pushed, what environment were you in, so was it hot or cold, rainy, uh, hail, etc. So you, you can basically take all this data and then you can attribute damage points to an operation. So if you're monitoring that damage, you know, okay, this engine needs a light overhaul or a water wash. Let's schedule it ahead of time rather than retroactively. I work on a project at JPL called Mars 2020, and we are trying to help find life on Mars. And a part of that is collecting samples on Mars in hopes that a mission in the future will bring the samples back to us. We have to actually land this vehicle on the planet. That process is called entry, descent, and landing. And so because we build one vehicle, we have to rely on models that are built by computational engineers for us to figure out if our method and design is actually gonna execute and work successfully. What it allows us to do is it allows us to go in and develop these systems and explore them very early on at relatively low cost. We don't have to build hardware. We don't have to run expensive and often dangerous tests. In the system, we can do a lot of it computationally within the computer and understand the, the, the fundamental behaviors of these systems before we try to go out and build them. UT really is positioned in the country at being one of, if not the top school in computing in general. UT was one of the first to have a graduate degree in computational science and engineering. Now everybody has a graduate degree in computational science and engineering. The Texas Advanced Computing Center is probably the top academic supercomputing center in the country. The institute here, ISIS, is the best computational engineering and science institute in the country, if not the world. So it just makes sense for UT to be leading this effort. 
We're doing cutting edge stuff all the time at the University of Texas, so for it to be the very first, for us it's not that big of a deal. We knew someone needed to do it, and so here we are stepping up to the world and saying we're ready.